Hi guys, it's me again. I'm here to give you an update on my pawpaws. I'd like to focus on two things today. First, developing fruits. Second, possible disease. So my fruits are developing quite nicely. I want to look at some of the best specimens of developing fruit. So the fruits on this tree are about, I'd say, one and a half to two inches long. Thickness, maybe a half of an inch thick. And these are some of the biggest fruits on this particular um, tree. So this tree here is one of the trees from Hertz. This is the first year this tree has made fruit. And do you notice the difference in the size of these pawpaws as compared to my other ones? Yes, they're about the same in length, but the thickness of these pawpaws is greatly different. So these are fruits from one of my Gurney seedling trees. These fruits tend to be much smaller than the others. Um, notice they're only about an inch long. So this is my second Gurney seedling tree. And this tree did not fruit much at all. This one does not seem to be the best fruiter in the world. Something else I want to mention is possible disease. This is my di distressed tree that I've been talking about. And I cut the top off of it because it was having a hard time growing. And there was definitely a difference in the wood that was actually healthy, which was white, and the wood that was not healthy, which had turned black. Well, apparently, um, there is a vascular disease that somehow affects pawpaws. I don't really know much about this. I'll leave a link down below. This disease um, will cause decline of your pawpaw trees. One thing I read is that sometimes you have um, the stems turning black or blue. This one definitely turned black. But I'll be honest, now that I read that, um, I had that issue with another tree where a limb, I just thought it was a dead limb, so I cut it off. But the limb did have a bluish hue to it. This tree here is actually the tree that had some blue wood on it it was blue and black and i just cut it off and this occurred when so this right tree... here is where the limb that had turned black and blue used to be i cut that limb off honestly probably three years ago so here's a side view right here is where i cut off the limb and if you look right behind it over here there's some type of crack or fissure it seems to be healing nicely and also in the same vicinity right here there's a crack as well I want to show you another tree that has the same issue the issue is not that the limb turned black and blue I pruned this limb right here because it was too low to the ground and right here where I pruned it you can see this fissure or this lesion open it seems that when you prune pawpaws, um, they're very sensitive and susceptible to damage of their vascular system. They say one of the signs is like, they call it canker, like a kind of a, a weirdness, if you will, in the bark. Well, if I go and look at my trees, and I'm not saying that they're diseased, but I'm saying that I probably need to keep an eye out. So in summary, there is possible disease in pawpaw trees. However, my theory is that the bluish black stem decay might be caused because of stress. When we transplant pawpaws, they're under stress. When we graft pawpaws, they're under stress. When we put them in our yards outside of their native woodland habitat, they're under stress. So we just need to be mindful of the needs of the pawpaw. Make sure that they are being plenty hydrated. When they're young and small, we need to make sure that they're shaded. And um, we need to make sure we're fertilizing them and pretty well using best practices. Also, when we prune our pawpaws, we need to make sure that we are cleaning our tools just in case there is a disease that we're not spreading it. In the report that I read, it did say that they, they did not encounter a pathogen. So again, this may just be a response to stress. I'll keep you updated. I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.